Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, today we're going to talk about the 2020 election, what we can expect to see over the next few weeks from the incumbent. And to cover it properly, we're here at Anytown High School to cover the student body election. Okay, so you have the incumbent, Donnie. Class bully, rich kid whose daddy always bailed him out of trouble. He's the incumbent. He's partnered up with uh, the one kid who like audibly prays in the hallway and even most people of his own faith don't want to be around him. Don't know how that happened. Um, but they're working together and they're trying to get another term. They're trying to stay as class president and vice president. Now, if you talk to the other schools in the school district, um, those that we've worked with and stuff like that, you talk to their class presidents, they kind of say that these guys didn't participate in any class projects and didn't pull their weight when it comes to the school district at large. When it comes to inside the school, he really didn't put forth any policies. Uh, he tried to get a new fence put up. Uh, on the south field but it's already falling down and didn't get it finished so there's that uh, there was a time he got everybody sick and tried to blame it on the exchange student he doesn't have any policy really so it's probably a little late in the game to expect that we're not gonna see any policy proposals come forth from him nobody would believe him even if uh, even if you put me forward. So that's off the table. It's also too late in the game for him to try to be a statesman and develop some kind of leadership skills. So we're probably not gonna see that either. So he didn't do anything for the school outside of the school, didn't do anything for the school inside of the school. Uh, what about endorsements? Well, the school resource officer likes him. Um, the one kid that's not allowed to come here anymore, he was tall, got banned, he endorsed him. Our school rival, they they endorsed him. We've had a rivalry going back to, since like 1945. They, they, they're they they're very supportive of him. Uh, but I don't know that that's going to be enough. I don't know that's going to be enough to carry him through to another term because that's really what this is. It's a referendum on Donnie's administration or lack thereof. So. What can we expect to see over the next three weeks? What can he really do? You got the wild card option where he walks out in the hallway, finds some little kid nobody likes, maybe uh, ENR missing, and uh, pushes him up against the lockers. Get everybody to rally around him, show how big and bad he is. That's one option, but it's a little late for that. He should have done that a couple weeks ago if he's going to do it. So I don't know that we're going to see that. Now, he might send his little bully buddies out on election day to remind everybody who they're supposed to vote for. Nah, that he'll probably do that. He'll probably do that one. But more than likely, he's probably going to rely on what's always worked for him, making stuff up. He's probably going to start some rumors. Maybe not about his political opposition themselves, maybe not about them, but about people connected to them. Like, I don't know, maybe, you know, there was this girl that they used to hang around. She sent some text messages, and my buddy Billy has them, and we're going to release them right before the election. <laughs> really embarrass her. He's not running against Hillary or her text messages. So I don't know that that's going to be really relevant. I don't think anybody's going to care about that. Now, he may just attempt to make stuff up. I mean, we have to consider that a pretty high probability because he does it every day. Um, so with the polls showing what they are showing, and he's currently got like a 9% chance of winning, I guess, he's probably going to get pretty desperate. And he's probably just going to start lashing out. It's what all people like this do. Um, so we should be ready for some explosive claims that are completely baseless and unfounded. I would imagine they'd show up sometime in the next two weeks. 
Um, I would just be ready to remind your fellow students about this individual's long, long history of just making stuff up. And at the end of the day, I honestly can't think of anything that he could make up about his political opposition that is worse than the stuff that he's done. So that's where we're at here at Anytown High School. We'll uh, find out what happens in a couple weeks. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.